All right, hello everybody. Uh, today I'm gonna be showing you the new, well, old new uh, system called Kip Menu. Now, some of you who played my Half-Life mod probably already know about it. This is the same system that allow player to select a specific specific kit, right, depending on their role, etc, etc, etc. It was made specifically for my group, right, but and for Half-Life mod in particular. But a lot of people were asking if I can make this system separate, so here it is. It took me longer than I expected, right, but finally here. So this is how it looks like. Uh, on the left you have the kits, you have the current loadout, uh, for example, let's click on the Rifleman. We don't have any additional equipment here. And current loadout, we have a mix, uh, a bunch of fucking attachments, uh, a pistol, blah blah blah, y you get the point, right? Uh, we can click here and select different ones, right? And as you can see, those do not have anything, but this one, we can change our weapon, right? And I cannot select it again, solely because I already have it, right? So, like, <clears throat> if I'm gonna click on Marksman, then click on this guy, I can select him again. And select a different weapon. Oh, and plus, I am a medic. So, this system is mostly made for mission makers or people who do Zeus Ops, right? Um, as a player, uh, this system doesn't bring anything new, you cannot like use it somehow, right, in your mission. It's not like Project SFX, right, or My Footsteps mod that can be used uh, partially as a client-side mod. No, this one specifically made for mission makers. And <clears throat> that's it, this is how it looks, and if you're interested in it, uh, you can continue watching. If not, that's pretty much, uh, this is the entire showcase, right? Uh, but for people that stayed, uh, let's see how it actually works. So first and foremost, you need to understand that kit menu is not your arsenal. The main problem with arsenal, at least what I have, for example, and why this system was made in particular, is solely because whenever I'm playing a World War II op or a Halo op, right, or something like that, Yes, I can add limited arsenal and add specific weapons, but what, for example, if I want my machine gunner to actually look at, like a machine gunner, right? Has a proper gear, etc, 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 to... Uh, it's not about realism, it's more about aesthetics, I think, right? And plus, I do not want to allow people to take machine gun and RPG at the same time, right? And that's why this system was created, because I can limit what my players can have, and at the same time, if I want to give them ability to modify their kit a little bit, maybe I want them to, uh, to give them ability to change their helmet, right, or like a vest or a weapon, I can just add it here, right, and player can select what they want. So, let's actually see how it works. Uh, let's get back into the editor, and here it is. So, <clears throat> you need to understand just a little bit of how code works, in order to understand, but again, this is a pretty simple mechanic, uh, simple script, if I can call it that way, right? So first and foremost, we have the variable of the object. Uh, this means that if you will put that script into the box in it, uh, this box will become that object that this uh, kit system will be applied to. Then we have the name of the kit, which is basically a display name, right? And then the kit itself. Um, this is... As you can see, that's a huge array of, like, uh, random shit in it, and you do not need to care about it, solely because I'll show you later that I created a simple button that will convert your kit that you create in an arsenal into that system. So then we have additional equipment, the statement that needs to always return true in order to that kit to appear, right? and additional code that will be executed. How it works, let's, for example, see squad leader. So this is our kit, our squad leader can take additionally an MSB rifle from contact, and to get that kit in our players group, there needs to be more or equal than three units, and player must be a group leader. So for example, let's start playing. Finesse, get the fuck out of here. Let's click open kit menu, and as you can see, I cannot take it because statement did not return true. I'm opening my uh, my Zeus, right? And just, uh, I forgot to add 
Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, for example, let's let's get back into the editor. It will be easier in that way. And let's add a few guys to our group. So now our group contains of four units. That's more than three. And I am a leader of that group. That means that now I can take that kit, as you can see. <clears throat> Here you go. And I can select different ones. And as you can see, uh, whenever you, if you have any of the atta attachments, whenever you change the weapon, all of those attachments and magazines, etc., etc., will be converted as well. So I can click on that weapon, and as you can see, I have the same <coughs> suppressor and optic. And kit is saved. You don't need to do anything else. The system will, uh, if player will die, the system will, whenever player will respawn, it will respawn with the, with the kit that he selected. If, for example, players want to abuse that system, if, for example, they want to uh, get the squad leader role, but they want to get, like, specific weapons <coughs> from, that, from that kit, right? They can obviously, like, open their inventory here, for example, right? And take a squad leader role for example, and then pick up this weapon. But the main thing with that is they will still respawn with the previous kit, right? So if they will die. Yeah, for, for once, they can run around, they will try to run around with an RPG uh, and a fucking machine gun. But at the same time, what I do, and this is not a part of the system, but I will release a script as well. Uh, it will be in the description. By the way, everything what you see here it will be either in my Discord or in the description of that video. Um... I made a script that do not allow to open inventory around those those objects, right? So, and you will be able to set up a distance. So, um, as you can see, uh, there is sometimes moments where I do not want to create my own kits, right? And spend a lot of time. So what I do, uh, and this is this script, I'm gonna show you how it works. Um, so for example, let's take uh, I want my players to have auto rifleman slot. We will take like a NATO one, right? Then, for example, I can throw in a fucking uh, guys from Tenoa. Uh, then FIA, for example, this guy, right? And a motherfucking Miller here, right? So what I do is I select all of them, click right mouse button, log, log classes to clipboard. Now I press Control V and I have all of my guys here and I start adding them here. Like that. <clears throat> and Miller. There we go. So now, if we will put that code into our init, and let me delete everything what we had in that box, for example, and only put that here. And there we go. We have all the classes and their appropriate names, as you can see. So yeah, um, again, as I said, uh, this system is specifically made for you to be able to set kits how you want them to be. But at the same time, you can also add uh, custom equipment to every single class, right? Uh, speaking about classes and how to make a kit actually, right? So for example, let's take this one, right? As I said, this is a very low of the object. So for example, name will be, let's say, AT Rifleman, right? Now, the main part. You see that entire code? Where do you get it? You open the arsenal, either through that command, it will be in the description as well, or into in virtual arsenal, and you see... You set up your kit, so for example, let's uh, give him a T, right, uh, a backpack, I'll not bother making him like super, super drippy, but uh, something like that, fuck it. And above the export, you have export as a kit. You click on that button, and you hear the sound, data was copied to a clipboard. And now what you do, is since it, it is copy, uh, it is copied to your clipboard, you delete that and then press Control V, and it puts that array into here. Um, let's give him ability to switch from that AK to a AKSU. Now, all you need to do is press Control C, right? And find that kit here. If you're using Ace Arsenal, right, you will be able to copy this, uh, weapon class specifically. Um, 
let's give him ability to switch that Verona to, for example, RPG-7. Let's find it somewhere here. Mm -hmm. And put it here. And... Um, and let's let's give him ability to, for example, switch a helmet, right? By the way, you can put in, in that additional equipment, you can put whatever you want, uh, starting from additional weapons to uniforms, uh, vests, uh, helmets, etc, etc, etc. It will be swapped and all of the items that you put into the uniform will be transferred to another one. The only major thing is that you need to understand that they need to have the same uh, load, right? So the system will be able to transfer everything from one uniform to another. Same for a backpack, same for a vest. For a vest. Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. So, and condition. Obviously, as I said, it must return true, so if you don't want to add anything specific, you can just type true. That means that every single player, no matter what, will be able to take that kit. But we want to do something cooler. For example, let's make, uh, let's make it so um, is nil, right? That means that is this, uh, that command means if a uh, variable is existing. Let's create a variable called vbk can take a t, right? That's it. And exclamation mark means that this variable needs to exist. Again, you need to understand just a little bit of code to, for this thing to work, but most basic ones, for example, how to limit the kit for example, if only like two people can take this kit from the entire player base, or if that's only a squad leader thing, right? Uh, it will be in the description. So, encode. Uh, let's make, if I will select that kit, my face, right, will be switched to Miller. Like that. Let's save it, and let's go back into the editor. And... Oh. I fucked up, so sorry. Uh, here, there you go. <coughs> oh, sorry. We open our kit, and as you can see, we have all the previous kits that we put it from that part. But we cannot take AT Rifleman. It doesn't allow us to do so. Solely because this variable needs to exist, right? Exclamation mark means that it needs to exist. So... What we do is we just execute this code, for example, it will be 1. It doesn't matter how we set it, it just needs to exist, right? And since it's existing now, we can take our AT Rifleman. And as you can see, whenever we click it, it changes our face to Miller, since we set it in a code. Um, let's switch to AKCU, to an RPG, right? And to a pilot. And that's it. The kit is saved. Simple as. Again, this video is probably already longer than it needs to be, right? But I just want you to understand why this system was created, right? And for what reasons. Uh, it's up to you if you want to use it or not, right? Some people like limited arsenal. Me, personally, I also use it from time to time, whenever I do not care about that kind of stuff. But for the most uh, of my ops, I usually want to limit what players have, just to understand what kind of balance I want to create, right? So... The link for the mod will be in the description. Again, the, all of the code that I showed you in that video will be in the Steam description, in the YouTube description, in my Discord. So please do not miss it. Um, that's pretty much it. So thank you, and I hope you will like it.